Welcome to this week's edition of the Central Arkansas Football Report. Along with head coach Clint Conk, I'm Justin Acri. Sad to say this will be our final Central Arkansas Football Report of the season. The Bears go on the road against the number five national seed, Georgia Southern, and come up a little bit short, 24 to 16 the final. And coach, certainly a hard fought game. You guys had many, many opportunities. Unfortunately, couldn't capitalize on those and saw those plays made throughout the year to put you in this position and unfortunately couldn't pull those off on Saturday. You're absolutely right. First of all, I want to congratulate Georgia Southern. You know, a deep, tradition-rich, uh, you know, football program. Six FCS uh, national championships. They advanced now to the quarterfinals. So, congratulations to Coach Monk and his staff and players. But certainly, the game could be summed up with, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the phrase of, uh, of a game of missed opportunities. Uh, and really, in both sides of the football. Mm -hmm. uh, their quarterback rushed for well over 300 yards, second most in school history. And they're talking about a program that runs it just about every snap. Uh, we missed some chances there, but then offensively, you know, when you drop a touchdown pass and, and you drop another one probably down inside the five-yard line, uh, catches that you mentioned we would normally make, um, we were just off a little bit. And so it came down to, uh, you know, just a few plays and, and uh, most big games, particularly at the national level and the big stage, come down to just a couple of opportunities. And uh, although we made some plays throughout the game, uh, we were just a little bit off, a little bit rusty. Our execution offensively wasn't quite uh, what it needed to be. Uh, but certainly I was very proud of our team, the way we fought. I thought defensively we fought really, really hard in the second half, shutting down uh, Georgia Southern uh, and keeping us in the football game. Well, we'll certainly take a look at highlights and talk about this individual game. But as we go through the show today, too, also going to take a look at what was an outstanding 2012 season. We haven't had a chance to talk about all conference yet. Um, 17 players selected, coach, including you, named Coach of the Year. Congratulations for that. Well, appreciate it. Uh, uh, it's always very humbling when your peers put you in that position, but certainly, too, for the SIDs and coaches to, uh, uh, to honor and, and, and designate 17 of our players. And uh, certainly quite a few on the first team and second team, an honorable mention. A couple I want to highlight, Winrick Smothers, the Offensive Player of the Year in our conference. Uh, Nathan Brown, his coach, was uh, the same position in 2008. Jonathan Woodard, the Freshman of the Year. Once again, Justin Love was the Freshman of the Year in uh, 2009, I believe, or 2010. So that's our second. Uh, recognition there at that award and then the first year of having the outstanding offensive lineman uh, Corey Howard right. and uh, uh, was the top vote getter of all the uh, linemen and of course all those young men were first team all conference selections as well but congratulations to all those young men uh, a lot of hard work and investment they put in as well as the rest of our team to lead to the type of season uh, that we had. Now when we see the trophy here behind us you uh, win the Southland Conference again and uh, I finished in the regular season in the top 10 again. So, I mean, certainly a lot of things to build on going forward and a lot of things to be proud of for this season. Well, back-to-back -back nine win seasons, uh, certainly back-to-back second-round appearances uh, in the Division One playoffs. Um, you know, I think we were talking on air. We've won 17 of our last 21 games, and we haven't lost a game in October uh, or November the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Uh, we just got to find a way to advance in December a little bit further, and yeah. that'll be the challenge moving forward. No, certainly two second-round appearances in back-to-back -back seasons, as Coach said. So uh, a lot to build on, a program headed in the right direction, and uh, certainly 2013 is going to be something to look forward to. Stay with us. Sponsored by the Conway Chamber of Commerce, AT&T, All Clean Restoration Services, Crane Automotive, AT&T Real Yellow Pages, Sonic Drive-In, Log Cabin Democrat, and Zaxby's. At Zaxby's, all of our salads are made fresh to satisfy any craving. Like the blue, with a bold taste of real blue cheese and buffaloed or blackened chicken. The house, or the Caesar. With so many flavor-packed choices, you'll be seeing salad in a whole new way. Guess someone forgot to tell us that salads are supposed to be boring. Zaxby's, indescribably good. I'm Jay Myers with Crane View at GMC, the GM giant right here in Conway. We're proud to support the UCA Bears. Come let us show you that we're the best place in the state of Arkansas to buy your next vehicle. Best selection, best service, and best prices. Come see our full service dealership, bring your UCA ticket stub and get an extra $500 off or 10% off any service visit. The GM Giant loves Conway and the UCA Bears. Crane Buick GMC, 1003 North Museum Road. Go Bears! Cranteam.com 
Welcome back. Time now to take a look at our players of the game. Offensively, Coach, we talked a lot about him in the highlights. The senior, Jackie Hinton, it's certainly been a, a great career. And there are a couple of these guys, it's hard to believe that it's over. I mean, you think about a guy like Seth Allison and Dominique Krum. I remember going back this freshman year, and you talk about this kid from Cherokee, Alabama, and what a special contributor he's been. But um, going to give it to Hinton this week. And a great job in the pass game and the run game. Yeah, Jackie Hinton, the senior from, from Shreveport, had eight rushes for uh, 53 yards, averaged over six yards a carry, a touchdown, also contributed with four catches for 36 yards and uh, played very well for us on Saturday in the second round, but also throughout the second half of this season. And then on the defensive side of things, a guy that fortunately is coming back next year, and I thought uh, maybe a little bit, I guess, underpicked on the all-conference selections. He was an honorable mention, but Justin Hurd, certainly an outstanding junior season. Looking forward to seeing your, see what he's going to accomplish in his senior year. You're our leading tackler uh, and, and played very hard, uh, very well. We asked a lot of him this past week, but uh, had uh, 13 tackles, 10 of which were solos, contributed in the kicking game, and we're excited to get Justin back. And it was somewhat of a homecoming uh, for him being right from the Alabama-Georgia state line. So I know we had a lot of fans and, and friends there yesterday. Boy, certainly a great kid, too. Enjoyed talking to him throughout the season. Also a tackle for loss for him. And then our log cabin stat of the game, and this is unfortunately not a positive one, Coach, but you talked about limited possessions, and it can be a concern with this team, but it definitely was a glaring issue. Well, again, the body of work, 24 points, uh, shutting Georgia Southern out in the second half was you know, tremendous. But 38 minutes of time of possession doesn't leave your offense a whole lot of opportunities. And so... A little bit of a negative there, uh, uh, but uh, we don't see this style of offense very often. Uh, we'll learn from it, and hopefully if we see it again, we'll, we'll have some reference points back. All right, well, taking a look ahead at 2013, we already talked about uh, certainly a lot of players coming back, a lot of all-conference selections coming back, Coach, and uh, also a great schedule, you know, some games also here at home, but, but then there are some great regional games, too, for fans to go to coming up. Well, we'll open up at home against Incarnate Word uh, on a Thursday night. Uh, not sure of the date, but then we go on the road to Colorado, uh, which will be a, our FBS game next year out of the Pac-12, and then Missouri State and uh, UT Martin on the road uh, regionally. So, and then, of course, our conference games, and we're still trying to fill one uh, one spot there uh, in our schedule, which we're allowed to play 12 next year. So. Uh, uh, exciting to have the young men coming back. Uh, sad to see these seniors go. Uh, some record breakers and potential Hall of Famers. Um, but, you know, we have to move forward in evaluation and getting ready uh, uh, for recruiting at this point and then, of course, going into the 2013 season. And, Coach, certainly since this is our last show, I know there's some folks that you want to recognize a little bit, and it's certainly been a great year, and I want to thank you personally. It's always uh, it's always fun to cover a winner, and we got to do that again this year. It's been a great, great year. Well, we probably uh, are a little sad that we, uh, you know, didn't advance another few rounds, but a lot of people put this show together. I want to thank you, first of all, uh, uh, for your time and effort. Uh, Katie Davis, who's our executive producer. Uh, certainly Steve and Monty on the radio side of things, Dr. Brad Teague, which obviously puts all this together to help it make it possible. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but our sponsors, uh, we couldn't do this without our sponsorships. And then, of course, you, the viewers, and uh, our supporters of all the Bear Nation. So thank you and uh, appreciate your support, and hopefully we can extend our season a few more weeks next year. All right, and certainly going to be busy here, I guess, getting out on the recruiting trail and a lot to do between now and February. Absolutely, and uh, recruiting is the lifeblood of what we do, and then when we come back, uh, we've got to do our homework first. We've got to finish the go. semester the right way, but then uh, recruiting will be a big emphasis and player development throughout the spring. So it never stops. Coach, congratulations on a great season. Hey, thanks, Justin. All right, looking forward to 2013 with the Bears and hope to have you back with us next season on the Central Arkansas Football Report. Conway Chamber.